hello uh, the aim of this video is to learn how to find stationary points and determine their nature so we are going to use this question to guide us find the stationary points on the curve of y equals to x cubed minus 3x plus 2 and sketch the curve so we are finding stationary points to determine stationary points of a curve you have to differentiate to find y dx because we know at stationary points the derivative of the curve is equal to 0 or the y dx is equal to 0 so we are going to find y dx of this curve dy dx being equal to derivative of x cubed is 3x squared and derivative of 3x is 3 and derivative of this two is 0 so you don't have to write that so at stationary points dy dx is equal to 0 so you are going to equate this to 0 that will be 3x squared minus 3 is equal to 0. So when you factorize this, it will give us 3 into x squared minus 1, which is 0. And this is a difference of two squares. So we have x squared minus x squared is x minus 1 and x plus. 1 equaling to 0. So our values of x are x equals to 1 and x equals to negative 1. Then we have the values of x. We can use them to find the nature of these turning points. Then after we shall get the values of y and sketch. So to determine the stationary points, we are going to use this method. So to determine the nature of the turning points, we use this method of the table where we put in the value of, let's start with x equals to 1 x equals to 1 and then any value which is on the left hand side of 1 and any value which is on the right hand side of 1 so in this case we shall put there the sign of the derivative so we, we know that our derivative is 3x squared our dy dx is equal to 3x squared minus 3. So when you substitute in 1, you get 0. That confirms that our second, our derivative at stationary point is always 0. And then we take a value before 1. A value before 1, we can take 0. So when you substitute in here 0, that will be 3 times 0 which is a 0 minus 3, so we get a negative. We are interested in the sign. So we have a negative there. And then on the right, we can take 2. 2 squared is 4 times that 12 minus that 9. So we are interested in the sign, which is positive. And we know that for a negative gradient, the line, it is always like that. For the 0, the line is horizontal. And for the positive, and we know that for the negative gradient, the line is like this. For zero, the line is horizontal. And for the positive gradient, the line is like that. And we can see that this one gives us a minimum point. So this one will be minimum. Then we use this second one to see if it gives us a minimum or maximum. 
again we draw a table and we shall be having x equals to negative 1 and then the left hand side and a value on the right hand side and as we did in the pre in the first one here we put the y dx and the zone of checking that again at negative one our dy dx will be zero and then what is the value on the right hand side of one again we can use zero so when you put a, a zero there that gives you a negative value and a value before negative one is negative two can work so when we put here negative two negative two squared is a four times three which is 12 then minus three which is positive nine so it is a positive so for a positive gradient it moves up and then a result of a zero and then for negative it goes down so this one is a maximum so we've determined the nature of our turning points the first one is minimum and the second one is maximum so the next point is finding the value of y and our equation was y equals to x cubed minus 3x plus 2 y equals to x cubed minus 3x plus 2 so when when x equals to 1 what do you get as the value of y let's see y equals to 1 cubed minus 3 times 1 plus 2 1 cubed is 1 minus 3 is negative is negative 2 and plus 2 it is a 0 so the value of y in this case is 0 and then what about when x is equal to negative 1 again y equals negative 1 I put this in bracket and then minus 3 into negative 1 and then plus 2 so this one is a negative this times that it is a positive and this is a 2 so we shall be having a 4 as our final answer so our turning points are 1 0 and 1 0 and negative 1 4 and from our check we saw that that one for 1 is minimum this one is a minimum and this one is a maximum and I write maximum so going back to our question we have found the stationary points and we have determined their nature then the remaining part is sketching the curve so sketching the curve is just a sketch we are going to draw our x axis and the y axis so let's take this to be our y axis and this one to be the x axis So you have x axis and y axis. So for this curve, we have one zero. X is one, y is zero. So x one zero, we have a point there and negative one four negative one four we have a point there but we know 
one zero is a minimum so you can draw there something which shows that it is a minimum and it will give us the direction where the curve is supposed to head and this one is a maximum so it gives us the direction where the, the curve is supposed to head and now we can connect so this is our curve of y equals to x cubed minus 3x plus 2. Thank you.